Right, time for another Kiwi Crash Course video, this time covering a big feature of Kiwi that I've been eager to get to for ages, that is drawing things. The basic idea here is that Kiwi has a range of graphics commands for drawing stuff like shapes, that is rectangles, triangles, lines, meshes and so on, and including performing contextual modifications like translation, rotation and scaling, and even providing the ability to do stuff like mapping arbitrary images or textures onto the shapes. Altogether, these operations are very powerful. In fact, all of Kiwi's widget appearance ultimately comes down to manipulation with these instructions. What it means for you is that you can draw whatever you like, from useful debugging stuff like drawing colorful widget backgrounds to see exactly how big they are, to drawing the entire user interface of your app entirely with these instructions. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of how to start doing so. Uh, as usual, I should mention, this is the same program I've been working on for the last few videos, and there'll be a downloadable version in the video description if you want to download and follow along with this video in particular. So, how to start drawing some graphics instructions? Let's draw them in our scatter text widget. The important thing is that every single Kiwi widget has a canvas that you can draw on. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of widget it is, a box layout, a label, anything at all, always has a canvas. And you can draw on it at any point with a simple syntax. Let's first of all just make sure we initialize the widget as normal. So now it's initialized, and now we can draw on the canvas, exactly as I said, and the syntax is simply with self.canvas, and we can declare some graphic instructions, and they will be drawn on our canvas. What does that mean? First of all, we have to import some instructions from kiwi.graphics.vertex instructions import. Now, the vertex instructions are the first kind of instruction. They comprise things like shapes, so we can import rectangle, ellipse, and line, say, which is just some examples. They aren't the only ones. And there are also contextual instructions, so we can do from kiwi.graphics.context instructions import. This is where you could import things like translations and scalings, or in this case, I'll just import the color instruction that changes the color of any subsequent so any subsequent shapes that we draw. With those imported, all we have to do is create them within the canvas. That this special syntax initializes everything so that they will be drawn onto it. We can do uh, let's call color to make sure everything is drawn with a particular color. Let's make it green, it's normal RGBA, as is usual. We can make a rectangle now. So we could say its position should be uh, say 0, 100, and its size should be, say, uh, 300, 100. We could make an ellipse, something similar, position 0, 400, size, uh, same again, I suppose. And just for example, a line is diff slightly different. It doesn't have a position and size, but instead a set of points. And these are sets of x and y values. So it could start at the origin. It could go to 500, 600. Then it could go to 400, 300. And we can say things like, we could force it to close. That means it will draw an extra edge going back to the origin. And we could do things like set its width. Let's just set that to 3, for example. Uh, and that's it. As I said, with any widget, you call itself, we call the canvas like this to open it. You could declare some graphics instructions and they will be drawn on top of it. So let's see what it looks like. There we are. Three shapes, exactly as expected. Everything else is normal. We can drag this around, but now that there's an ellipse, uh, this rectangle, and this line with the points that we expect it to have. One thing you'll notice is it's actually drawn the instructions that we made on top of everything else we had. That's because our application's user interface is initialized in the super method, that's what initializes the scatter and the label and so on, and all the children of the scatter text widget. But we've drawn our instructions after that, and the order is important. If you want to avoid that, we can actually use the canvas to before. That's another canvas, uh, the details are transparent to you. All that means that these instructions will be declared before everything else that the widget does, so they'll appear behind everything. I won't demonstrate it, it's just something simple you can play with. Uh, there's also a dot after if you want to draw them afterwards. More pressing is the problem that everything we've done here is totally static, which could be a bit annoying. I mean, it's nice that we can draw shapes with particular sizes and positions or whatever, but it's not dynamic. So if, say, we resize the window, they would still appear in the bottom left. And say if it was a really big window, then they wouldn't even take up most of it. What would be more useful if we, is if we could do things like draw the shapes specifically behind a particular widget um, and update their positions and their sizes when that widget changes. You could do that with this sort of syntax by keeping references, so you say you could do self.rectangle equals whatever, and then you can do things like, as we've seen in previous videos, self.onsize, and you could say self.rectangle.size equals self.size. 
And you could do all of this kind of procedure so that when a size changes, all these instructions are updated. And it will work, and sometimes it's the right way to do things. But it's a bit unwieldy, again, as I've mentioned before, once you start to have multiple different graphics instructions that you all want to update. Rather than doing that, as with the widgets, we can decode these graphics instructions in the Keefe language. It has another syntax for them. The advantage, as with widgets, is that the Keefe language can automatically update references to Keefe properties, and that will mean we can automatically update our graphics instructions when particular properties change. The syntax here is similar to before. We simply type canvas, and now everything we write will be drawn on the canvas. We can draw graphics instructions. It's important to note that although this looks like the way we would declare a widget, the canvas is not a widget, not a graphics instruction, and we can't use widgets here. Uh, you have to remember that. Sometimes it's tempting to think you can do so, but we can only draw things in the canvas. So now the syntax is simply we write down whatever instructions we want. So we could have a colour. Let's make it red this time. You notice the syntax is slightly different. We declare colour, and now we add the different properties of colour. So we could simply say RGBA. We could make it, say, blue this time. Not, not one, one. And that's everything color has, it only has a color value that it stores. But now we can do things like declare a rectangle. rectangle. And now, like we saw, it has a position, uh, which we could set to 100, 100, and size that we could set to 200, 300, or whatever. But now, because it's Kiva language, just as with widgets, we can instead say the position is the self.position, and the size is self.size. And because it's Kiva language, it will automatically detect that we're referring to the widget's own position and size, and update the rectangle when those change. So let's see that in action. Uh, what we expect, you can see there, is we've drawn a rectangle, it should have the same size and position as the scatter text widget, which fills the window. Let's see that. There we are, as expected, it draws a big blue rectangle behind everything. You notice now it's behind everything, even though we didn't specify canvas to before, uh, and that's just the way Kiwi language does things. The canvas that it's drawing on now is drawn before everything else. Um, with canvas before and canvas after, you can still reference them like this. Uh, you can achieve other kind of graphics if you want to. For now, I'm going to stop there, I think. It's a quick introduction to what graphics can do in Kiwi. Um, but it essentially covers all the basics of how to do so. The basic syntax is that with mechanism. So we do with self.canvas and then declare some graphics instructions. Or in Kiwi language, we declare them in a slightly different way. But now it's easy to refer to particular properties and particular methods and have those graphics instructions automatically update. In the next few videos, again, I'll inevitably end up covering more of how I make use of the graphics instructions for debugging and for drawing things in general. And I think I'm trying to cover a few real world problems, think ways, places and ways that I actually want to use these graphics instructions and the other things that we've used so far to achieve um, particular new Kiwi widgets and new Kiwi appearances and mechanisms that aren't part of the default setup, but which we might want to use in our own applications. For now, uh, thanks for watching.